So here's my first memory. As we enter in here, going down the opponent's runway. <laughs> TJ Hushmuzada probably taking his towel right around this <laughs> oh, area of the thing. Right. It was right around yeah. here. <laughs> thank you, TJ. Thank you, TJ. <laughs> thank you, TJ. <laughs> It's all the motivation they needed that day. Did you ever did you ever have to tell your guys? Oh, you tried to. We had, you know, try like, please, no bulletin board material. Right. Now Joey Porter had a hard time at times yeah. calling out <laughs> St. Peyton Manning's finesse and soft. You know, like, like oh, why'd you do that? Not not the Peyton Manning. I mean, but you know, so he Joey just, you know, he had to be him, which was, you know, and you wanted your guys to kind of come on this field and have a little bit of an edge. And like, I, you know, you're, you're the best at what we do. And no one comes into our place here and is going to, is going to beat us. So I want a little bit of swagger. So, I, you know, but not to be disrespectful, not to show anybody up, but have a little bounce in your step, a little, you know, chip on your shoulder and uh, a little swag about you. So, you know, it was, you know, this was, this was the field. This was the field, and there are so many plays here. Now, I, uh, I can go back in time, but I still, the one that comes to me, I don't know about you, is the, is the uh, Bettis situation with Brian Urlacher. Oh, yeah, well. That I mean, was, that sort of, cat, that was your catalyst, right, for that whole well, entire run? Yeah, we, 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 we knocked every, said, listen, you know, seven and five, we just lost three in a row. I mean, everybody kind of looked in the mirror and grade themselves in the previous week. We came out here against the Chicago Bears. I think they had won seven in a row. Right. And it starts snowing. Wow. It's starting to snow. This is really a good sign. And we came out that game, and he had a couple big runs, and he had great bounce. You know, uh, Jerome, the bus, was one thing I've never seen a guy. He could jump cut, and he had great balance of his feet. It's going to be a long day for somebody. I ain't gonna say who. Y'all figure it out. On a snowy field, he had great body lean. He was unstoppable. And that big hit took place right over there when he scored that touchdown. But I said that game, and then the next week we had to go to Minnesota. Right. And they had won six or seven in a row, too. You and couldn't we, lose the rest of the no. way. No. We beat Cleveland and Cleveland. We finished up back here against the Detroit Lions and got in as a sixth seed. And First time ever. And the first game that we played was against the Cincinnati Bengals, who had, was our last loss. TJ. TJ. You come <laughs> back to TJ, too. Thank you, TJ. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your best is good enough. You stay focused, and you play only one way, and that's physical. Backs against the wall. No one's giving you a chance. It was, you know, everything that we talked about. You seem to like that. Love it. You like that it. all the time. I said, there's no greater satisfaction in sports than to do something that nobody thinks you can do. Yeah. And I just, you know, I go back and stand here and just think about right over there is Crafton. <laughs> you know, and all we did, we kind of went through the city, but it's just a little bigger field than Honest Wagner. Um, but it's a football field. It's still a football field. Between these white lines, they're all the same dimensions. A little different surrounding. When you step on the field, there's a way with which you do things. And it was fun taking a bunch of men coming together and just ah, love it, love it. You're almost like a part psychiatrist here too. Yes, You're yes. analyzing your own team and knowing yes. what makes them tick. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I wanted every game to be made. I, I try to make every game personal. I really did. I, 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 wanted, I think that's the only way you can play the game is, is yeah. prove something. You don't play the game for money. You don't play the game for fame. You play the game to have a, a brotherhood of people coming together and to accomplish something, have more points in that scoreboard than that other team does at the end of the day. However we get there. I don't care if it's 10-9. I don't care if it's 44-43. <laughs> we have one more point than they have, and that's the only thing that matters. So you're constantly looking at that, thinking about time left in the clock, thinking about how many possessions they may have, Looking at them over there, assessing their demeanors, you know, you can kind of you can see, you can see players. Are all the guys sitting down? <laughs> are all the guys? And I look back. Most of our guys are standing up, waiting for the next, you know, offense cheering on the defense, G defense cheering on the offense. I mean, it's, 
It's like little things like that. This place is unbelievably emotional. You see this place, you get the towels going. What did that do for you as a uh, coach? That passion, that feeling that you get from the energy of the fans. And you know, I think as when you sit there as a head coach, to me, it's just like, you gotta just, because we're playing at home, um, you gotta be able to control that because it, you can get too amped up where you start doing things that are not normal. So it's just like, use that and we'll get the crowd going, but we gotta move on to the next play. Don't get too caught up in it. And so, you go on the road, sometimes you have to create the storm. But a lot of times you have to be the calm in the storm, particularly if you're playing at home. What's it mean to have the Hall of Honor over there? Yeah. Be on that one. It means a lot. It means a lot. I mean, just coming back here and being here right now, I mean, I, I get chill bumps. Yeah. So now, when you look around here and your career is complete, would you have done anything differently in your career? No. You would have ended it when you ended it? Yeah. You know, because... That uh, was mostly a family decision, right? It at was. The time. It was. You know, this, 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 this was a special place for those eight Sundays that we would have and a couple preseason games. But those eight Sundays, this place became like a little bit of a sanctuary, almost like going to church and crafting. You know, I'd come in here and this was, this was a place that just, this meant a lot. There was a lot of history here, a lot of responsibility here. Like, play a certain way and do things a certain way and people from Pittsburgh all kind of like we all come together it's like we're it's one big family you know so I love Pittsburgh fans because they always want to touch you they always always want to do that touch you in the back like, good job coach good job like, I'm like okay like you don't have to hit me anymore like I'm good I'm good so um it's a, that's the way it is that's the you way know. that's the way you know but, but we are you are one I mean everyone is and there's an, almost an obligation that's like let's just Let's play it, the game the right way, and let's, let's do it the way we do it in Pittsburgh. It's pretty yeah. unique, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it is. It is. I mean, this place, it's a hard place to play. When these, these fans get going, you know, and, and the, the team will feed off of that. And it's just, I don't know, for those three hours on Sunday that you're out here, or Monday night or Sunday night, it's uh, it's a pretty special place. I don't think any better place in, 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 in in the United States to be able to play football to be in this arena on this field. Uh, Coach, I want to thank you for all you've done for the game, for all you're going to do for the game. Mm. And I want to welcome you to Canton, Ohio, huh. wow. where your bronze hey, your yeah. legacy is How going about to live that, Bill? Congratulations, Coach. Congratulations. <laughs> so we've covered a lot of ground here with your past. It all leads to here. And now at least to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. First thing you think about, and for me, was the people that weren't there. The first thing, my parents, Kay, Dan Rooney, Marty. I'm like, oh, they would be so proud. You know, you grow up here, you know, just to have a chance to come back here. To be able to hand Dan Rooney that trophy, that one foot of thumb that we've been missing for so long. Mr. Rooney, this is yours, man. That was all I really, that's it. I've, I, could, I had great peace with myself, being able to walk away. Um, but then all of a sudden you come back and this happens, you know, how many years, you know, 14 years later, you're going into the Hall of Fame. And it's just, it's hard to put into words. It's so humbling. And then you see the other people that are in there. And you realize just, man, a game I love, a game that started in Crafton, with the Crafton Little Cougars, to Carlington, to NC State, to playing for the Browns and the Eagles, getting a chance to coach. And just having it all culminate and to go to Canton in August. Um, you know, it's, 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 it was a lot of people along the way. And so many, from the parents, to every coach that coached with me, to every player that played with and for me, it'll be a special night. Bottom line, it goes back to family. Family's everything. We can all talk about football, we can talk about faith, but it's about family. And I was blessed to be with the best, best family in football. 
the Rooney family, and the Pittsburgh Steelers.